You know, peoples, this is your host, Humanity Matters Live, Humanity Matters Podcast, the owner of You Need Roadside at youneedroadside.com, associated with roadside911.com, who is a marketing arm of Motor Club America. Yeah, I'm a talk show host for more than 22 seasons. And you know what? I always tell it like it is. I just call people a chicken shit on one of my other videos. Hey, I call them as I see them. So now, I'm going to throw something down. A few months ago, a cat rescued this little boy from a dog that was attacking this little boy. A cat chased away a big, bigger dog. I think it might have even been a pit bull. That's right, a cat kicked the dog's behind enough that it ran away. A cat saved a human being. Well, let me tell you something. For all you cat haters are saying cats don't give a rat's claw, that ain't true. I had more than one life-saving cat in my lifetime since I was a kid. And when I was a little kid, to about, I think, I don't know, I was about a preteen, probably about 12 years old, I had an incident where my cat the original baby girl was meowing in the kitchen and kept meowing and meowing and meowing and I was watching a program with Bill Cardill known as Chili Billy a program called Chiller Theater on WIIC TV 11 which is now WPXI TV 11 in Pittsburgh and I was watching Chiller Theater and they had this movie The Hills Have, the Hills Have Eyes or it might have been The Hills Have Eyes Part 2 so all of a sudden, there's this scene where the guy, the criminals, the cannibals, or whatever the heck they were, were breaking in and getting ready to kill people. All of a sudden, my cat's crying and wouldn't stop, and she's looking at the kitchen window, and she's just sitting there. Mind you, it's not a dog now, a cat. A black and white, beautiful cat named Little Baby, the original baby girl. Back in the day, she was just baby girl. And she's going, meow, 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 meow. I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I whispered to my mom, get the butcher knife. Go in the kitchen and get the butcher knife. My mom's like, why? What the hell's going on? What the hell? My mom was saying some other stuff. I said, just get the damn knife now. So she sneaks in there, and then I sneak in there. She gives me the knife. Sure enough, I look in the window, and this guy was trying to break in to my house. I opened the door, say, mother. <laughs> yeah, I almost come out and say, mother effer, come on in. And I opened the door, tell him to come in. I said, I'm going to kill you, mother effer. I'm going to kill your ass. And I was 12 years old, and I took this mother freaker. I said, man, I'll kill your mother effing ass if I ever see your face again, okay? So he didn't get in. I threw his asteroids right over the porch at 12 years old. Mind you, this guy's like six feet. Don't ask how I got the muscles. I don't know, but it happened. So some gun doesn't get in. So then, I don't know, a few weeks, a few months later, Cat's crying again. And I was in bed. This time the son of a gun got in. Same guy. And my mom's like, the guy's here. Because my cat's crying. My mom turns on the light. And she's like, that guy's here. That guy's here. And I was just waking up. I said, I don't give a F who the F is here. I'm going to F him up. Excuse my language. F him up. Sorry if it came out. F him up. If y'all shut off the damn light. I'm going to crabby some bitch when I. Excuse my language. I'm going to crabby some bitch when I first get up. <laughs> I get up, I'm like, I'm going to kill this mother effer. Shut the effing light out. And then I realized who it was. And he had actually was trying to rape my sister. I took this son of a gun, threw him off the porch, and I said, a second time, I said, I hope you come back because it will be your last. I will kill you dead. Yeah, I actually said that. He never came back. He got in twice, and he attempted twice, four times. But that was the last time because I told him, Come back again, and I will take you out. Actually, that wasn't the words I said. I think I said, I'll kill you, mother effer. I'm some other stupid words. Point of this is, if it were not for my cat on two of those occasions, he would have successfully broken in four times. Now you're probably thinking, wow, that's an amazing cat. But that's an exception. Nah, not an exception. Let's fast forward to literally about a year ago. 
And there are other cats and wonderful things and even a dog that I could tell you wonderful stories about at another time. But let's go to my cat, little baby girl. Ironically, baby girls again. She was also black and white, but much smaller. And this was little baby girl. She was dying of cancer. And even the Humane Society, to the people of the Humane Society, I am not happy with you. I think you're a bunch of assholes, excuse my language, you're a bunch of assholes for letting my cat die the way she did. I did not have the money to get her euthanized, ladies and gentlemen. I called the Humane Society, I said, can you please let me get my cat euthanized? They gave me the runaround saying, unless I have $50, they can't do it. I said, but you're the, the Humane Society, you're some kind of freaking bug. I said, you're the Humane Society. They were like, well, we can't do it. Now, I may have been misinformed twice. I don't know. But that's what they said. So if you, the CEO of the Humane Society, you need to talk to your people. They let my cat suffer and die. I did not forget that. Trust me, I did not forget that. That's a side note, ladies and gentlemen, but I did not forget that. I am not pleased. But little baby girl was about 20 minutes from actually dying. And I said to her, if I can't even afford to get you the health care you need, or at least get you euthanized, I am a failure. This is about less than a year ago, maybe a year ago. I said, if I'm a failure like this, the hell with all my TV shows, all the videos and everything else that I've been doing for all my life. I'm giving up on everything. And no, not suicidal, but just... I was going to stop Humanity Matters Live. I was going to stop Humanity Matters Podcast. I was going to quit doing the blog at humanitymatters.org and every video. And I was going to quit trying to do the businesses that I was doing at the time. I was going to give up on everything except life itself. And I said, unless you give me a sign, little baby girl, that you want your dad to keep going and keep trying, I'm giving the hell up. And this cat literally was 20 minutes from dying. My, my assistant's crying in the background. But she literally was. And it is hard to do this and say this. About 20 minutes before she died, I was laying in the bed with her and I was beyond broken up. She squeezed over with the last little bit of strength she had and she put her paw or her hand into my hand to give me a sign not to give up. Now I don't know what your thoughts are on cats or animals or humans for that matter, but I'm telling you this cat saved my life, period. I was going to give up. You wouldn't have seen my face. Probably been happy, but you wouldn't have seen it. Some of you would have been happy. Others would have been sad. If it were not for little baby girl, this video you're seeing today would not have existed. 20 minutes before she died, she saved my life. Is that love or is that not love? Before I go, on another video, I'm going to talk about some of my other cats and how they saved my life before. But I have to tell you, I had a cat named Ebony Midnight. He died on my lap about, I guess, 10, 12 years ago on my, on my chest because I was resting on the sofa. He had a disease that was so bad, some cancer. Once again, I didn't have the money at the time that literally part of his face was coming off. I know. Well, I had the flu. This cat who was dying was worried about my health. So when people say cats are not affectionate, they don't love you, they don't care. Well, excuse me, but that's a bunch of bullshit. I don't care if you're mad about profanity. That is the biggest bunch of shit I've ever heard. My cats gave their life, in a sense, to save mine. So you tell me. Are you really that amazed after hearing this? You that amazed that that cat saved that child? No! That cat loved that child and loves that child as it is his brother or his sister. Well, I think it was a boy. You see, our animals love us unconditionally. Cats too. Now, I want you to think about that. 
The next time you say, oh, cats don't give a rat's ass. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They can be heroes. And the next time you want a real loyal friend, go to your dog, go to your pet, go to your cat. Give them a great hug and tell them you love them.